Then you're off stage. Jump Steady looking to keep him forced out there with the auto reticle. Yet again. Throw. No, no roar back air. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is an interesting choice of song for this stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a happy song. Like, hey, I'm gonna go on an adventure. It sound, if I'm not mistaken, it sounds like the ending theme for the anime. No, it's a uh, Route 209, I believe. It's it's the it's the route with the the side ducks in uh, Diamond and Pearl. It's been a minute since I last played Gen 4. I'm yeah. gonna be honest. It's. Still, nonetheless, round two or nine, interesting choice of songs here for Jump City. Missing the back air will leave it an interesting choice between him and Zenyu's out of Smash. Okay. He has the right play, though, because you do have intention to with back air as Palutena, right? That is going to be your bread and butter against Master Mario, who loves to hit you with back up smashes. All right. And yet again, extending all these combos with this aerial string, but not going to be able to do it any further just because Palutena has a really good air dodge. Yeah. Nice scoops all the way with the down in here in 81% to 92. Then you have evened up the percents and the stocks. The flood wasn't even enough because he missed the cape. Oh Jump Steady able to recover with the neutral air. I love how Jump Steady like went in and it just drifted away because he knew that the cape was coming. Oh yeah. Oh, gets the two frame and the kill with the back air. Down tilt usually particularly good for two frames. If we don't see that from Jump Steady, we'll see some up smashes right. as well. Promise grab. Yet again, the up smash will catch the landing. And Zenyu evens up the stocks. You know, this could go either way for both players. Yeah. Good back air. With the forward air. Jump City looking to capitalize. No down air, but Zenyu comes back. Sneaks in a neutral air at the ledge. Right. Yet again, Zenyu just really mixing up the timing on that down air, catching Jump City off guard. But that invincible back air is keeping Zenyu out. Yeah. Forward air. Nice. I like it too. And he knows the fact that Zenyu might have been trying to DI away to go to the ledge. And Jump City wanted to cover that with explosive flame. Double MD Hobbs. Top tray with the back air. Oh, that's that. Uh, yeah. Overcommitted with the, with the side. I'm sorry, with the up B. Yeah. Like, up like for Mario, it's like, it's not a horrible option, but it's no Cloud or Richter up that's for sure. And yet again, like, Palutena is one of those characters where you just have to respect that, like, hey, I'm going to land with an aerial, and you can't punish it. Yeah. You know? All right, game two here, Jump City. Once again, point one over Zenyu. This is best of three on winner's quarters, man. Only one will make it in the top eight to get a best of five on the winner's side. And immediately, Zenyu knows what he's got to do. Bring it up to 22% and jumps in with a forward tilt to keep his opponent at bay. No, I wonder if it, because they said top 16, right? Yeah. So this is top 16, I believe. Because when it gets into top eight. Yeah, so yeah correct, correct. We'll get, we'll get reconfirmation on the, on the mic for you guys, right. no worries. Good forward there. Right. Nice, Jump City looking on his facing here on Master Mario. For good reason, he wanted to see if he was going to try to come in extra hard with an aerial or what kind of get up option he was going to go for. Back air, Master Mario at 117. Again, landing with that nair, but you know, Zenyu not falling for it. But rolls into that grab right there, and you know, Jump City's just looking for all these defensive options from Mario and just kind of walling it out. Be like, okay, you're going to jump here? Let me throw out a bear. Oh, you want to roll? No, nah, I'm not going to let you. I'm going to throw out another bear where you want to be, too. Yeah. Nice. Good use of these kind of these. I wouldn't say empty house, but really good for a Master Mario. I'm sorry. Zenyu to try to go for these back airs to fake out Jump City. Especially with the ledge, right? If Jump City lets go of the shield here or picks the wrong time to go for an out-of-shield option, that back air will take care of him. Yet again, Jump City looking to find the ways in, but no, Zenyu's just like, you know what? I see your game plan. You're throwing out back airs when you want to like roll in. Yeah. Let me do the same thing. I have a back air that kills too. May not be as good as yours, but it does the job just fine. Oh, I was gonna say, man, if you keep up him, Jump City might be in a really tough position to get forward there. 
Alright. 57 to 140, and finally Jump City gets Zenyu to heal that stock, putting it at two stocks apiece. And again, that was probably DIN from Zenyu too, not expecting that to kill. And again, 100%. No, Jump City has a mounted decline, but you know what? If he gets his strings, then he might be able to make up the damage. And again, anytime Zenny wants to approach, you have to worry about that invincible uh, dash attack, too. Yeah. Nice. Couple empty cups here. Jump City looking at trying to freshen up the options between a tomahawk grab, a forward air, or a back air. Or... Nice. Jump City off the stage here. He's going to go for the teleport. Oh, back that's throw. the back throw. And the edge Not guard. Not enough, but it's got, he's got potential here on the edge guard. Nice. I, oh, Simpson had the right idea. He wanted to go ahead and read the landing on the platform. But it was too late to capitalize on it. Nice. He lands before so he can even get his back air. All right. Ooh, but you know what? That up smash out of shield, it's a fast move. If you don't get out of the way immediately, you're going to get hit by it. Nice. Missed empty hop to the dash grabs. Then you're looking to take more control. 24 to 108, two stocks to one. Four throw. Chips it at 140. I'm sorry, putting him at 140. Yep. And there we go. That's the right DI on that dash attack. Close. Yet again, shield looking small, but you know what? It doesn't matter if the shield's small if you just beat him until it comes back. Yeah. Oh, oh that's not going to kill. No, not just yet. Yeah. I was about to say, like, you would have to have some pretty sus BI for that to kill. I mean, power jumps any man. I would be hoping for my, some, I'm sorry, Zenyu to have the sus BI. One at peace here, 109 to zero. This is the hill to climb here, but can jump setting put out the work? I would say getting grabbed is one of the first parts of it, but unfortunately, I spoke too soon. Nice, Re kind of retreats back. I like that option. Does not want to get punished by up smash? Yet again. Jump said he has to play super carefully if he doesn't want to lose the stock because he knows that pretty much any back air, any up smash, a forward smash, all of it will just take all of the stocks. Yeah, 150. Down throw, no rub. I was going to say, almost no reverse aerial rush back air. Coming after the three minute clock here. Jump City has to some kind of big play to put Zenyu off the stage. Explosive flame, not going to be enough, but at 113, Jump City looking to walk away with a possible 2 0. Right. It's almost in his hands here. Oh, oh no, but he let go of the shield yeah. too soon. Yet again, I feel like he was looking for that parry. Yeah. The parry to the punish. Yep. Because you know that parry would have been an up smash. It would have been an up smash, it would have been death. Yeah. And Jump City would be walking away here and sitting on a winner's semis, but nonetheless, right. Zenyu will prevail there, one-one apiece. All right. And then opting to go for the zero suit after losing game one or game two. Tough call, honestly. I really enjoyed how good Jump City was able to do with Palutena winning out the first game. But you know what? It could be a comfort pick. I don't want to hold it against him here. We'll see what CSS can do against Zenyu's Mario. All right. Throw down there. Once again, Zenyu looking to tuck on the percent here, but can jump to the land. I like it kind of coming back towards the ledge, but looking for a safe time to try to take it back center stage, using the flip kick as best as possible. Right. And you know, jump stage is just going to try to throw as many moves as he can in order to like mess up Mario's timing. And it's kind of like the main difference between uh, Palutena and DSS is that you have those like larger disjointed moves to kind of pressure Mario with, you know? Yeah. We were talking about that earlier, how Mario kind of loses to disjoints, and CSS does have a few of those, but the oh. other thing is that the grab is not as good either, so you're going to die. And you usually would, for that. Usually you would see that from Zero to Samus, right, where she would commit you to hold shield long enough to, for her to confirm a grab okay. and then immediately go for the combo off that. That's what I kind of want to see Jimson look for. Nice. I kind of like a little bit of a dash back here and there. Yet again, just looking to find this option. 
But you know what? Run out the shield to avoid the down smash. And you know what? To get out of jail, get out of jail free card with the jump flip again. And the reason why he goes for that there too is a specific object. He doesn't want to get him to juggle more. Good use of the up special here. That gets Zenyu out of his face here. But can jump steady finally capitalize? 65 to 125. But three stocks missed forward air. Ooh. And I love the use of the side B because he realized, okay, you use your air dodge. So this you have no way to avoid this move. Yeah. There's an air to the fair. Three supports help. Dash attack here. Jump City looking at pretty much even up the stocks, and he's done so as much as possible. Maybe yeah, a quick dash attack to get Zenyu off of him, but you know what? He has to worry about so many things, you know, especially the fireball that can lead into so many follow ups afterwards. Yeah. Empty hop, I like it. I would have, see, I understand the forward, the down smash, to understand if Zenyu might have gone for a roll, but at that point, I don't see Zenyu faltering at any time soon for a roll. Well, especially when there, there's no reward, more so risk. If Ooh. Zenyu wanted to go ahead and try to get behind Jump City, he would have gone for an opportunity to go for a cross up. I liked how he hopped over that paralyzer shot with the back air, too. And now, we're starting to see a little bit of slowdown play from both players right here. Yeah, it's come they, down to the wire pretty much here. This stock is just as important as the first one. Yeah. And here's the back throw, get him off stage. Nice, saving the up special here to recover. All right. I like how he was trying to scope out the jump with the down air and realizing that, like, hey, my down air is pretty lagless yeah. when it auto cancels. So if he tries to jump afterwards, then I can just throw out another one. I like that jump steady. Let's go. Looking for a whip on the share, especially on Zenyu's landing. Back throw, not going to be enough. ZSS may be light, but she still has some weight to herself for survival. Back air. Tough one, but Zenyu finally takes the stock here. You know, we were talking about the importance of taking that first stock, because then you start building up extra credit on your last stock. Yeah, 29% at 141. Zenyu knew the one thing jump steady was going to come off the gates here with is a grab. Nice. Sees the fact that Zenyu wants to return to the scene of the crime here with a directional air dodge downwards. Right. Usually a trait that you would see of a player looking to just take, off, take an option. Right. And I love that defensive role knowing that like he's going to end the op and he's probably going to go for a tomahawk. Yeah. He doesn't let his opponent have too much of the victory. Yet again, all he needs is that one nair to flip kick and that can end the stock right there. And again, you know, Zenyu kind of building up his lead. Back throw. Yeah. It's got him off stage here. Jump City has to pick the right option in line here. Goes for the usual up special. I like it. Angles the shield. He doesn't want to get shield focused, especially with a couple back airs. He fights back. No paralyzer. But he reads the fact that the one place Zenyu might be trying to go for is towards center stage. I like that from Jump City. He had the spacing for the back air. But unfortunately, Zenyu's going to call him out with that right from the ledge. Zenyu kicking it up 2-1. Yep, and looks like we are going to game four because, yet again, this is top 16. Yeah. All right, here, game four, like you said, Jump City was so close two times here to victory. And Zenyu just a slight step above him, understanding what Jump City's options were going to be here. I'm seeing how the Zero Suit is now starting to pay and make its ends meet here. Let's see if Jump City can bring that four here in game four and put us at game five, or will Zenyu close the books here, inching one way closer here to grand finals. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Back throw, I like it. Yeah. One stage control here on the edge guard situation. Jump steady yet again, sets himself up for a back air, but Zenyu one step faster with the up air. Fourth throw, nice. And I like that. He knows the one thing Zenyu has been feeling comfortable since the last game is jumping from the ledge, and he wants to be there to call him out. Right. You know, if he gets one more read like that, that could be the stock right there. 
There we go. Quick there. Oh, but gets the uppy out of shield. Not, Not enough. Be enough. Yeah. Still taking him to the other side and the percent with a forward air to finish it off. Gem City with a solid 56%. Only climbing up as then you make sure when he comes back there is damage to be done. And again, those fairs, like CSS fair, I feel like is one of her more underrated moves. Like people always talk about like, oh yeah, her boost kick is amazing or the back air, the nair, but like her fair is like a really like it's a good tool in her yeah. kit. It's got a little bit of a distance too. Yeah. Can I have to give a little bit of respect? Unfortunately, Gem City yeah. will not be able to totally grab the ledge. 112. I like how he's giving Zinio a little bit of a run around here. Down smash, and he doesn't take the time to waste it to go for the up special and put Zinio off stage with an edge guard situation once more. Yet again, he's just been stuffing out all of Zenyu's approach options with the uh. fair, but. You know, I read the roll in, but unfortunately did not read the distance right, and he's gonna get another touch for it. Ooh, armoring through the the up tilt with the down air, and the side B will take out the stock right there. Yeah, it is so weird seeing that move kill in this game. <laughs> Bad time to go for down air here for Gem City, especially if, even if he's trying to look at the line on the platform. Look at how much damage he's taken just for that option that he went for. 89%. About roughly 40 here. Zenyu still fighting back. He knows, you know what, this is my game to win. Jump Steady to lose here. He hasn't barely got any 5% on me. Miss grab, down throw, and I like the fact that he went for a back air and he reads Jump Steady wants to come back center stage for a good reason. Yep. Here we go. Last stock. No, this is Jump Steady's final chance to make it to a game five. Yeah, I mentioned it. Jump City's game to lose. Forward there. Nice. Off of the down tilt. He's doing an excellent job. You know, a little bit earlier, he's going for those disjoints. Like you mentioned, forward there. Such a good tool. And there into the back, he's got West Zenyu off the stage. Right. And I keep missing him up for Master Mario because, as right. we mentioned earlier, last year was probably the most absent Zenyu has ever been. Right. But now he's looking to start off 2018 just right against oh, Zenyu no. and the footstool to do it. To put it out to 3 1. Oh my god. Do you, do you think Zenyu did that on purpose or do you think he wanted to just go for like an edge? A bit of both because you know what? That was Jump City's game to lose and he dropped it. He dropped it and he spent 